wing dam is a man-made structure that was designed to deflect current. And in most instances, it's to keep the integrity of the current. You want to keep that flow down the center so that they, the center keeps flushed and it can keep its depth so that they can uh, run barge traffic. This is a, you know, the Mississippi River, like a lot of the rivers in the United States, this is a working river. And uh, we've got the depth in this river and the diversity in this river because the, a lot of the wing dams were built. They just dump a bunch of rock down uh, in a big pile or a big long finger. And uh, they're actually what I would refer to as a rock spine. Wing dams have a dynamic too that uh, when the fish are here, they're here for one reason. There's a little bit of a scour hole where that water comes up and hits that wing dam. There's a little bit of a scour hole created from that washing effect. And wherever that water buckles, there's a little slack water right down on the bottom where the fish can sit there and wait for meals to either get washed over the wing dam or crawdads and other critters to come from the backside up current down into that pocket. And whenever uh, something comes their way, it's like a, an upside down eddy or a vertical eddy. Whenever any food washes down, they're right in the perfect advantage spot. The walleyes are sitting there. This is their dining room. Now the backside of the wing dam has restricted current flow too, but I would refer to the backside of, of, of almost every wing dam as the bedroom for the fish. That's where they sleep. So you can mark a ton of fish back there and you can catch them occasionally, but when it's game on or time to eat, they're in the front of the wing dam. A lot of the wing dams are fairly easy to locate uh, just visually. You know, a lot of times you can drive along and see the ripples on the surface of the river. A lot of times they'll place a buoy out at the end of a lot of the wing dams. Sometimes they won't. Another thing I've noticed on a lot of these wing dams is that, you know, you hit them fast and, and move on to the next one if you don't contact any fish. Because again, they're here to eat and pretty much they'll eat just about whatever you put in front of them if they're in the mood to eat. It's uh, somewhat of a jam and slam approach, but uh, it seems to work pretty well. I'm, I'm always looking for aggressive fish. I'm looking for the fish that aren't too intelligent, but the, the real hungry ones, I can catch those fish. Ready, Jace? I'm gonna bring up, get the Beckman ready? Here he comes. Oh! Guys, that's what we have been fishing for all day long. And you know, the beautiful thing about fishing wing dams and fishing on the river is you never know when you're gonna run into that hog. This fish right here is theoretically the walleye of a lifetime. I mean, this is a pretty good fish. It's gotta be all of 29 and a half, 30 inches long. Look at the head on that thing. Look at the mouth on that thing. Look at the eye on that thing.